transmission return line on the top then it goes down and goes into inline magna flow filter which is this then it comes out from a filter travels to that T connector I need to tidy that off goes through it and then I don't know if you can see it behind it travels behind it and comes into this thermostat and then from thermostat this line goes back to the gearbox what happens when it reaches 80 degrees thermostat opens and instead of going straight back to the gearbox it opens and sends oil to the auxiliary oil cooler radiator which is mounted there let me show you from different angle where right, the line that is off and the cooler is there so it comes in with in one pipe and out from the other one i'll come to fun in a minute and then it goes back to the gearbox now this temperature switch temperature sensor switch activates this fan in case the temperature exceeds 90 90 or not 100 no i think it was 100 yeah i think it was 100 degrees if it senses that oil comes in at around 100 degrees and the auxiliary cooler can't keep up cooling the oil the fan kicks in to help it and once it goes below a certain temperature that sensor will turn that fan off and once the oil returns to normal operating temperature thermostat closes as well and goes back into original loop also there is a bypass switch which i can use manually to turn the fan on and off as i please never really needed to use it because I've already checked it uh, while green laning and off-roading that that switch operates correctly and it turns on and off fan at the certain temperatures. So yeah, from a top return, it comes through the filter, then it goes through the sensor, then through the thermostat and back to the gearbox. But if oil exceeds certain temperature, it goes thermostat opens goes into auxiliary cooler and then back through this line and if that's not enough efficient cooling if it still keeps climbing temperature up and it reaches around 100 or 100 plus i can't remember exactly that switch will turn the fan on and that will help the cooling so here we go i'll show you the bypass switch i've installed in engine bay okay next to the and it goes through the fuse box through the relay and the fuse straight to the positive and negative i can operate it separately so yeah auxiliary cooler for transmission that's how it looks and all that hides behind the uh, arch liner fun is from a bike uh, radiator is from the mitsubishi delica it's denso brand a uh, fun is panasonic brand and no, i might have a part number for it if it focuses there you go search by part number and the radiator is just um, standard uh, Mitsubishi transmission radiator. Then so brand, I think it was. And the thermostat is Mokol. Uh, sensor was 
I think generic eBay or Amazon, I can't remember that. And the filter, I had it for so long, I can't even remember where I got it from. <laughs>